The farm project. I get involved with a biodynamic organic farm here in, um, in Maui. And part of my volunteerism is to, uh, to don donate um, you know, money or pro um, projects or products or equipment, in this case, to worthy, um, worthy people, worthy projects. And in the case of the farm project, I started uh, donating a tractor. I'll show the tractor in a couple of slides. So what we did with this farm project, uh, Ginny sent over one of her amazing workers, Houston, to oversee the project. And what we used was the waste material from pressing the barley sprouts with the hydraulic press, pressing out the juice from the barley sprouts, and that juice is our RNA reset drops. But this fibrous material is still saturated with eye cells, so we saved every bit of it from the 144 generations. And this is our RNA mash. And in the next slide, we did the radish experiment. The, the well, Chad just before the the webinar started, he said they they look plastic. They're so awesome. And I said, yes, they they're so uh, they look synthetic. They're so natural. I mean, this is this is our radish experiment. The next quick slide is our um, is the tractor that. We have two tractors on the farm now, so this is one of the tractors. It's from Italy because um, the land that we have is hilly, and heaven forbid farm tractor accidents occur when you're turning on a hill and the tractor is just so top heavy it falls over. But what happens with this tractor is the cab swivels so that when you come down here hill, you swivel around. The next slide. Um, this is um, a video. Chad will start up the video and I'll talk about it. Uh, this video shows the several rows of the mash plot. Uh, we call it the RNA mash, as I said. We put handfuls of mash under the soil before putting the seeds in the ground. And you can see these are all really healthy looking, robust plants, lots of leaves, just an awesome display of, of nature at its finest. And that's the end of the slide, um, the video there. The next video is the control plot. And this, um, there was a space between um, the mash plot and the control plot. Uh, so back to the control plot, um, Chad will start that video. So uh, as I go along here, I'm taking this video. You can see the, the empty places. You can see uh, less robust plants. Um, the leaves are, are kind of, well, motley and, and uh, weak looking. It just does not look like a healthy pot of land. And um, that's the end of that video. And the next slide, we go to the control plot. This is what we, what we found in, in these radishes, wormy radishes. And in the, the next slide, uh, which is the, the mash radish slide, this is the mash radishes. And you will be stunned to know that the mash radish plot produced 85 pounds of perfect saleable radishes. And the wormy control plot Chad, if you could back up to that slide just for effect and the drum roll, the wormy control plot produced three pounds of radishes that were saleable. Three pounds versus 85 pounds. And jumping ahead to the next um, two slides, 
the mash plot this is the first week the end of the first week no weeds the next slide the control plot you could barely find the the rows of radishes for the weeds and the the following slide i'm saying why the amazing results now i want you to memorize this slide folks this is awesome insects worms bacteria and weeds are only programmed to attack weak dying or dead life forms humans animals or plants are surrounded by invaders and only succumb when they are in a weakened state rna reset infused the radishes with life and energy and made them incompatible with the organisms looking to cull out the weak plants and that is exactly what happens to humans as well how many times have you heard about all the microorganisms the trillions and so many more than even the cells in our body and and they're just waiting there a lot of them are waiting there for us to become weak and sick and they will start attacking from within that's why i've been talking about yeast overgrowth for decades and this is why we want people to have the the catalytic effect of the rna drops to have the building blocks of the minerals to have the the very awesome detoxification of the realign and the protein powder with our restructure i mean we totally know <laughs> what we're doing here and it's finally with the uh, farm experiment that that we can uh, we can offer this to you as our science behind what we're doing over the years definitely we've had people saying to us and ourselves we've been using the the rna drops on plants and seeing how robust they become but th this was a true uh, true experiment that just totally blew the farmers away we kind of knew but 85 pounds versus three pounds i mean forget about it <laughs> so now i'm um, i'm too uh, overcome to continue i'm going to turn over to Ginny, who will fill in the blanks you know, things that i forgot to say look at the chat line see if we have questions to answer and continue on because we have another another 15 slides to show you Ginny, off you go yeah very good very good okay well carolyn i think that was great and i love what you summarized at the end and um that the um uh about the weakness about being in a weakened state and that's when you're up mm. to attack and uh so many times um, we've seen over and over again how in our human state that we are not subject to the things that our peers, our friends, you know, other people are subject to um, mm -hmm. as they use the RNA drops over the course of many years. So uh, it's exciting, you know, when you, if you, you know, you take the drops, you do have this expectation that you're not going to have any sickness, which is wonderful. And then, oh, if you catch a little cold, like I catch an airplane cold or something, it's like, oh gosh, darn. But then on the flip side, um, I know a lot of people who can't do some of the things I can do um, at, you know, different age brackets and things like that because they don't have the stamina, the endurance or whatever, and they're just not as fortified as I am. So um, I, think it's, I think it's awesome, though, um, that we are more and more fortified against the attack of our immune system with the RNA drops. And I this... Uh, mash experiment definitely proves it and what's interesting is the mash isn't even the drops <laughs> uh -huh, exactly it's our waste product for peace sakes right it's like trash <laughs> you know, so it's not even the full concentration of the rna drops uh, that we're referring to in the experiment now let me ask you before we jump off of this topic are you doing more farm experiments 
Yes, the farmers are continuing. They they were so impressed. They're continuing. They done a spinach experiment, and they found they got greater yield. What what happens on in these farms? They try to be organic, but they have to use a lot of organic fertilizers, organic pesticides. They know they have worms in the soil. So they did not put any of their regular, very expensive amendments on the control plot. And what what we're hoping is with these small farmers, we can just uh, give them the mash and they'll have he healthy plants and won't have to use the gazillions of dollars of other products to, to get uh, crops that they can sell. Right. I thought the thing that was interesting to me about it was um, that it is a biodynamic farm and this ground has been cultivated for years. And it's not like I just threw some radishes in my backyard. <laughs> you know, uh, this soil <laughs> has been prepared specifically for high yield crops because he is a farmer and he sells at markets and things. He sells to restaurants. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, just the economics of the yield of it was what was so fascinating to me that here he was doing the very best of what he thought he could do. And here came the RNA reset drops mash and just elevated it. And I think that's another thing that the drops do is they definitely do elevate mm -hmm. your game. They elevate your body. They elevate your mind. They elevate your expectation for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, who would run around on the face of this earth expecting not to be sick or, or anything like that? You know, mm -hmm. it just even at elevating your expectations. So uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, and Ginny and Greg were there for the uh, the start of the experiment. They we, we really put a lot into this experiment. We we um, we never have expectations. We always, I guess, expect the best, expect to live da forever, uh, <laughs> expect all that. But I don't think I expected eighty five pounds versus three pounds. I was just so so blown away and so happy. So thank you to everyone who did that. And Ginny, anything, any questions from the chat or do you want to just continue on? A couple of questions. One of them, uh, somebody's asking, will the drops help out with autonomic dysfunction? They sound amazing regardless, but just wondering if they would help with autom autonomic dysfunction. Well, of course, we're not allowed to say what they do seriously. The FDA does not want us make it, making any claims. What what we say is they, um, and what we observe is that they go to the priorities in the body and they help to elevate that. That's the word that Ginny just used. So some people will say, well, I'm going to take them and they're going to help my autonomic system. Well, what if there's something else in your body that, that wants to be elevated before that? You see, we, we try to to kind of overcome nature and overcome our bodies. We try to tell our bodies what to do. What, what our philosophy is, is to give the building blocks, to give the catalyst, which is the RNA drops, and just step back. Ginny's going to go into the relax and allow. Once you get the gist of what we're doing here, and and in a sense, yeah, we're trying to talk you into something, but we're just very excited because we know what what it can do. But you may be um, skeptical and you don't bother with it. You may think this is awesome. I'm going to give it a try and let my body see what what it can do. You may be totally cynical and say, well, I'm going to try them, but they're not going to work. Well, maybe they won't maybe they will just magnify where a person is at. And when a person is at the stage where, well, I'm, I'm, perfect, I'm happy where I am, but I want more. Th this is the type of person that I think does well on any, quote, healing program. If you start a program and say, I'm so mad, I'm so just pissed off at the world, at medicine, at my family, at it. I'm just mad at the world, but I'm going to take these things and they better make me better. I mean, this is not the attitude that your body wants you to express. 
So anyway, I'll let you go on, Jenny. Okay. Now, um, let's just say uh, Nicholas in um, South Africa typed in and said, we've been soaking the seeds that we sow in RNA drops before we put those seeds in the ground and has seen similar results. Growth of plants has been outstanding and so delicious. Okay. And um, also our good friend Jan from Norway is listening in today, Carolyn, and he said that he would love to help um, do some testing on the drops as well. So I thought that was very sweet of Jan to say that. Mm. And um, then also um, Doug Tidwell said, the effect of colds and flu are no longer debilitating to me. I feel great, have tons of energy and sleep like a baby. I'm loving mm -hmm. life with the products from Dr. Dean, just loving life. So that's very sweet. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the um, things that uh, somebody else asked is, um, uh, I travel sometimes, I miss weeks of taking the RNA drops. What is your experience with consistency with the drops? What do you think about that, Carolyn? Well, let me, this just leapt in my head. I would say if you're also taking some restructure, it, it has the RNA drops powder in it. So perhaps that just keeps things going. And when you get our vitamin C and our, our um, Flora Revive probiotic, uh, if you skip some time of taking the RNA drops, you'll keep the kind of frequency going. But as Ginny said, we're, um, we're talking about a much higher concentration with the RNA reset drops. So we don't want you to stop taking them just in favor of the other products. So just take a uh, restructure when you travel. It shouldn't be a problem. What do you think, Jenny? Yeah, I agree completely. I mean, people come in and come out. I mean, we've been doing this for many, many years now. I've got customers that I met in 2012. Oh, they take the drops for a little bit and then they pop out something distracts them and then they pop back in and they say, oh, I missed them. And then they pop out, then they pop back in and then they're like, this time I'm, I'm here to stay. And you know, it's great. Um, and we don't, uh, um, uh, worry about any of those things because it's up to your own, your own knowing your own sense of yourself. They're a, definitely an accelerator on many, many levels and people know when they need a boost and some people wouldn't miss a day, you know, mm -hmm. like they would crawl through broken glass to get their drops. And <laughs> I know a lot of people like that, including myself. So then you've got that part of it. So, you know, you just have to, um, kind of weigh out what's going to be best for you. But absolutely, Carolyn, and I was thinking, you know, just to have the uh, the eye cells in the floor revive and just based on what you even said, you know, here in the gut, wow. in that level of concentration, you know, mm -hmm. and providing that life force energy and mm -hmm. setting the standard against the decay and everything that goes on in the gut, I think is just, I mean, super, super, super amazing. Super amazing. Right. Oh, yeah, we're so blessed. 